Art is about the making of something that serves a purpose other than immediately practical. To me, I think the making, the craft skill, is critical. It can't be just conceptual. Art is about objects, artefacts, and the making of them is critical. I came to England in 1959. Hong Kong was incredibly alive with music everywhere. You walk down the street, you would hear American forces radio, Chinese opera, and it would just be everywhere. And I came to England and it was quiet. At the end of my last term at college, I was asked if I would design the interior of Ronnie Scott's Jazz Club. That was my first introduction to the music industry. I was designing Ronnie Scott's Jazz Club and I sh started showing them pictures in my sketchbook. And they stopped at one particular picture and said, oh, can we use that for an album cover? And that was a cover for a band called Gun. And the album was called Race with the Devil. So that was my first album cover. Phil Carson was the head of Atlantic. And he said, oh, I love your work. I'd love you to do something for us. But we only have two bands. And that was Led Zeppelin and Yes. And he said, I'll call you when they next need a cover, which he did. And it was yes. So the first thing I did for them when it came to graphics was to make the lettering on the cover look like um, a late 19th century illustrated and decorated book. So that was how the first Yes logo came about. After the album came out, I thought that the logo and the lettering was too project specific. And I thought it would be good to design them a logo that could be used always. And I did the series of doodles on a train journey that became the Yes logo. That logo was a gift really because it was so simple. It was just three letters. When you're doing something with so few letters, it's very easy to get something strong, memorable and heraldic out of just the letters. I just had to find a way of making those three letters work together and it meant I had to go to lower case because, you know, the Y and the E and the S are different geometries in, in uppercase. But in lowercase, they work in the fluidity of the letters. This painting behind me is the new Yes studio album. It's only their second studio album in, I think, 12 or 14 years, so it's great to be doing that again. I work in different ways. One way I work is that I come up with an idea and I sketch it out and it's pretty much a done deal. But other times I work with a very loose canvas and the painting evolves out of the canvas. The textures and patterns in the canvas have given me ideas so I'm, I let it evolve and it's a gradual process. On deck 16 and we have a gallery and I think it's called Sky and Stars and we have a, about four or five of the major originals on show and quite a lot of drawings, sketches, colour sketches, lo uh, logos, prints, and we have a, a print specially made for the cruise. The cruise is a great opportunity to show the works to people from America. It's a rare and great opportunity, um, and particularly all the sketches and things. They're, they're, they're almost never shown in the States. The prints are on a permanent exhibit at Trading Boundaries in Mid-Sussex which is a brilliant place. You can go for the art, that's a good idea. We do probably one major exhibition a year and probably one or two small ones. Um, and it's a great place because of the synergy between the art and the music. I love it, exhibiting there. The question I always get asked, the most common question, I'd say whenever I do a talk, everyone at some point says, where do you get your ideas from? The best way to work is study, Fill your mind with great thoughts, read books, look at things, get rid of the thinking so that the ideas can flow. The real enemy of creativity is anxiety about your work. You have to learn to care, but not to worry, and then the ideas will do their job for you.